Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be talking about SonarCube. SonarCube is an open source platform used to measure and analyze the source code quality. It can be used for continuous inspection of code quality and perform automatic reviews with static analysis to detect bugs, code smells and security vulnerability. Here in this video we will go through setting up a SonarCube and we'll deal with its features when we come to Spring Boot and microservices. I'll open the VS Code editor and go through the YAML files. Here, I made two folders for Sonar 7.1 version and the Sonar latest version. You will know the difference in the environment variables where we are using Sonar Cube JDBC username, Sonar Cube JDBC URL, Sonar Cube JDBC password. And here we are using Sonar.jdbc.username, jdbc.url, jdbc.password. We have the mount path. It is a path where the volume is accessible from within the container. Volumes are merely a directory which the container has access to. A persistence, a persistent volume is a storage provisioned by an administrator or which is dynamically provisioned. And the volume claim is a request for storage by a user. So we have conf.yaml, data.yaml, extensions.yaml, and logs.yaml. We'll go to the terminal, clear the screen. We can clone the Git repository. The URL I'll be leaving in the description. We have to check for PG admin and Postgres whether it is running. Check for the Minikube IP. Here the URL, the JDBC URL should be same as the URL we are having for Postgres. The database name should be Sonar Cube. We'll go to the browser. Check for PG admin. I kept it open. We'll create a database with the same name Sonar Cube. Click on save. We'll be using the latest version of Sonar Cube. So all you have to do is a kubectl apply minus m followed by a dot. I'll be leaving the GitHub URL in the description. Now we'll check check for the database whether any changes have, have occurred. Let us click on schemas, click on tables. Yes, everything has changed. We'll do a kubectl get all. We'll take the mini cube IP, put it here with the uh, with the port as thirty thousand nine. Click on login. We can give. Admin and admin in login to Sonar Cube. We 
we'll discuss the features of SonarCube when we come to Spring Boot and microservices. For the time being, this is for SonarCube. We'll catch up in the next video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you find it useful. Thank you. Thank you very much and bye for now.